What are you? An adventurer or a grave robber? Oh, Eileen. You've come with a new friend today. You didn't let a grave robber trick you to bring them here, did you? I know that I may not be the brightest compared to my sister, but I'm not that foolish, you old man. It's merely that everyone trusts Clorence's shrewd nature will keep her safe. You, on the other hand, well, <clears throat> what brings you here? Richie? I wasn't aware he had any friends to receive regards from. Uh, Shannon? So Richie's been shirking his duties to... <clears throat> anyway, Richie is probably down below, sweeping and cleaning. Friendly warning for the newcomer. Never lay a hand on anything or else. Well, this isn't as scary as I thought it would be. <laughs> Anything good here? Uh, huh? Oh, over there! Ah! A ghost! Ah! A human? What? A talking ghost? Adventurer, exercise it! Don't you know who I am? The notorious grave robber, Afuaru's cousin! never been ghosted before. Think it enjoys haunting an ossuary, falling into ruin? I thought that Houtman had the easiest job in town, but that is clearly not the case. Uh, adventurer? What's this? Do you think the ghost dropped it? A key! The Bartelli crest is engraved on it, so maybe it unlocks something in the ossuary. I'll ask Rich. Uh, hmm. Where is he? You, you, you don't think he's been hurt, do you? Come on, let's go find Richie. Oh, Elion, all, Sylvia, Thornwood Goddess, please keep Richie safe. Thank goodness. Were you trapped in here? And are you sweeping? N no. Th this is just me salvaging the last bits of my pride off the floor. What's all this commotion about? What? Did you cause trouble again? Old man, did you know that Richie was trapped in here all along? You really keep vigilant watch over the ossuary, huh? What? Another grave robber showed their ugly mug? That cowardly Richie was probably hiding again. I can't be everywhere all at once. An ossuary needs constant care. I'm bound to forget a thing or two. Age takes its toll. You'll see. If it were your sister here, she would have done something clever, like brewed up a potion to make the cowardly goblin a bit braver. Well, you're not wrong, but it still hurts. Let's go, adventurer. Ah, <sighs> that's Eileen for you. Makes you wonder if she truly is the great Alustin's daughter. 
sorry we didn't get much out of this adventure. I wanted to lift Emma's spirits for a change. could have hurt you, Eileen. Don't you ever do that again, even if it's for me. But I still haven't found clues to the nightmares that haunt you. This adventurer here is going through something similar. I'm, I'm sure of it. No, no. I'm so thankful that you tried. I don't want anyone to be in danger again because of me. Hello. My name is Emma, daughter of Justin Bartali. You must be a guest of my grandfather. Well then, take care. Hold on, Miss Emma. I I'm sorry I, that I couldn't repay your kindness. But look at this. My howls of terror must have shocked that grave robber into dropping it. The script is kind of old, but I think I can read it. It, it appears to be someone's journal from the Kingdom of Kron. Ah, oh, my poor, lonely Hannah. My dear niece, lovely and beautiful to the very end. A spring's courtship blossomed into summer romance, which bore fruit like autumn, only for the suitor to coldly part like winter. You persevered alone to rear your child, only for the king to steal him away. Falling victim to an aged fool's selfish ambitions, seeking eternal life. The world came crashing down, but I shall remember Hannah forever, even as I clean the nursing bottle she couldn't heat up for a final time. It is another trace of sin left behind by my ancestor. How long shall I repent his sins to wash away the karma? Well, I just can't keep avoiding it like this. Would you both listen to my sorry tale? In Cron Castle, ruined by sins of past. Lay tiny souls hidden, tears amassed. I reach out to comfort those unnamed, but some strange force keeps me restrained. Then, black as smoke soon overtakes me, I flee and flee. Can no one save me? The crimson gaze. I can't escape thee. <laughs> My piercing screams would finally wakes me.
I knew I could trust you. Now, let's read the book to find out whose body Gith actually inhabited. Uh, let's see. Uh... Oh, here it is. Proxus Antonio, guard captain for Noir III in Elionian year 135, forfeited his life when he dared to admonish his king for attempting to sacrifice a young maiden and child to attain immortality. The immortal alchemist said the ritual must go on, and the enraged king had Croxus executed, and his remains scattered over Awas Hill. Sam, the one who led me to that sin-laden castle. He met such a tragic end. To lose his own flesh as well. He must have appeared in my dreams for a reason. I need to speak with him. Is there any way we can summon Geath from the Dark Rift? There must be a way, Lady Emma. But first, you must eat. Your grandfather would have me hanged if I'd let you pass out. <laughs> we shall ask Martina, the farm owner, for some food. I'd be more than happy to whip you up a meal. But nothing comes for free now, does it? The farm wasn't always looking a mess like this. You can thank the goblins for that. I'd be more than happy to whip you up a meal. But nothing comes for free now, does it? I'll be more than happy to handle the cooking. Though I know most of your harvest has already gone out to Velia. Eileen, be a dear and scrounge up some potatoes from the field. And your company can get the chicken porridge started. I'm not sure if we've got any hearty potatoes left. It's not the first time goblins have made a mess of our field. I'm not sure if we've... Mm. Mm, that earthy aroma. Oh, it reminds me of my grandmother's steamed potatoes. That didn't take too long, right? <laughs> I have good senses. Good. Now that our stomachs are full, let's try putting our heads together. Geath chose a body that's been dead for quite some time. According to what I know of nature, the body should have decomposed already. So how do you think he got around that? Oh! That reminds me of something Father taught me last week in class. It was something on alchemy used to track time. I remember it because I really struggled with the reagents. Clorence said something like, Eileen, what good's a head if you don't even use it? Then she said, um, what did she say? Uh, Eileen, you're so stupid you'd flip over an hourglass to check the time. Oh, right! Sands of Time! Using Papa's special recipe, it's possible to restore the flow of time where it's been halted. Ah, uh, but... It's difficult to get the materials. Only black stones of a purity of at least 73% will work. Papa brought some such stones to class last week, but I think, uh... I used them all up. <laughs> Color me surprised. I should have brought Clorence along. She would have come up with another plan, surely. I'm sorry. I'm not Clorence. I think you're crossing the line here, Takros. My grandfather will hear of your behavior. Eileen, don't give up. There is always a way. We will find it together. Well... <sighs> I... I suppose certain ingredients can be substituted, but we'd need a, an object one would sacrifice their life for. A goblin's horn should do then, I imagine. Can't understand why the bastards are so obsessed with us. Here, up! I have a black stone! It once belonged to the old chief. Singular mind, eh? You keep mum until we start on about goblins. 
That black stone is better put to use elsewhere. Right now, we have a better tool at our disposal. The goblins themselves. Quiet! I can't think! I'm becoming potato brain standing in all these potatoes. <sighs> What's your gut tell you, adventurer? I'll follow your lead. You won't regret putting your faith in me, for sparing the lives of my friends. I'm forever in your debt. It's not that I can't understand where Takros is coming from. He's one of the Medean deserters that was stationed at Kron Castle. When Giyath, our king, assaulted Kron Castle, many lives were lost. No doubt the loss of his comrades, his captain, contributed to his desertion. Though Takros may feel Chief Igor helped put that behind him when he settled in Velia, he still holds that anger. Don't allow him to stoke that hatred. Use the stone for something good. Time to finally put my alchemical training to use. <laughs> oh, is anyone else feeling faint? No, it, it's okay, I'm fine. Ah. Shall we start the process of creating the Sands of Time? Now, please fetch me the first ingredient. I require fresh blood of a weasel. Fortunately, there are plenty of weasels around the farm. And I've even brought my best friend along. This book may look a bit worn out, but she's full of knowledge. Without her, I'd never pass an alchemy exam. Next, we'd need a shimmering wildflower. They're sometimes found blooming in Awas plains. The story goes that the shimmering lights from these wildflowers are the very souls of innocent children who were sacrificed in the foolish King Noir's search for eternal life. Let's go hunt out a decent spot to brew up our concoction. Tagros? Can we trust you to protect us without riling up any more goblins? Thank goodness we have Grusha's black stone. Is it just me? Or are things going smoother than expected? Oh, you got here quickly. And just in time. Ta-da! I managed to put together a makeshift magic cauldron. Don't look at me like that. Actually, took a lot of ingenuity to put that together. All right. Now, if we perform some simple alchemy with these ingredients, we should obtain something known as the Fragments of Time. Don't look at me like that. It actually took a lot of ingenuity to put that together. Look at the color of the smoke. Uh, I think that means you were successful. I mean, none of my past attempts produced such a color, so that's good. Now take those, place them inside the pot, and you will be able to create the sands of time. <gasps> yes! Oh, I can't believe it. It, it! it worked! Oh, let me take a look at that. Hmm... The sands of time... Oh, we did it! Hooray! If only Father would put this recipe on my next test. It's the moment of truth. I shall call for my men. It's time we finally reveal the fear behind the mask. Finally. I shall meet with the one I've seen only in my dreams. This... 
doesn't feel right. Pray, be careful, adventurer. Sprinkle this on the goblin mural atop Awas Hill, and you'll be able to summon forth the gear from the Dark Rift. should have already arrived in Velia by now. Goodness, adventurer. Whatever are you? It was you, Gia. The one who pushed me towards Kron Castle in my dreams. Uh, Emma, be careful, okay? You should be alright, adventurer. He needs to be saying something. Adventurer, I wish to speak with him. I need the power and wisdom to protect my people. It seems that I still lack both. I need more glass stones. The glass stones granted me the gift of this flesh. At the same time, so too began this dreadful nightmare of Kron. He spoke to me. If I wished for the nightmares to end, all I needed to do was but destroy the relic atop the spire at Kron Castle. Who was he? Are you speaking of the man clad in black robes? Was he the one who gave you the black stone? You seem to know a lot more than I thought. As he instructed me, I advanced toward Grom Castle, bringing destruction to all I laid eyes upon. And yet, at the spire, I encountered one who could not be killed. This body I inhabit froze at first sight. You two have been dreaming the same nightmares as I. What did you find at the spire? <sighs> 
It burns. It overwhelms me once more. Soon this body shall no longer be able to reside in this world. By the time I return, I shall be caught in the abyss. Maddened by a pain that only my flesh shall remain crying out. Only someone will remember that I shall protect my poor tribe forever. Gia, wait! Speechless. Did you end up losing that fiend? We should have joined forces to exterminate him and the rest of the goblins for good. He is gone for good, so you can rest easy. Though, uh, do you perhaps know who's guarding the relic within Cron Castle? And where'd you hear something like that? That kind of knowledge shouldn't be tossed around so casually. It doesn't matter how we know, we know. You're resident of Velia now, Takros. Don't you think it's your civic duty to tell us? Understood, milady. I shall tell you of all that I know. None of this is news to the Chief, anyway. The reason the Medean deserters could stay in those ruins, well-fed, well-supplied, is due to... aid from an outside benefactor. Not a clue whom. They only dealt directly with our leader. Hmm. Outside benefactor. <laughs> Sounds wealthy. And powerful. Oh, any chance he's got a baby face too? I'm not sure. In exchange for their constant support, they had only one condition. For us to protect the Spire's entrance at any cost. We were also instructed to never open the entrance. Didn't stop a few fellows whose curiosity was greater than their sense. What happened to them? They died. Milady, you're not thinking of going there now, are you? We must head to Kron Castle. Adventurer! I believe this is the most opportune time with you by our side. I see there's no change in your mind, milady. Though I'd ask, if all goes well, that you put in a good word for me, the Chief. With our current numbers, a full frontal assault would be suicide. We need to go in with a small team to infiltrate enemy lines. Once inside, you'll find a man named Beetle hiding out in exile. He's the only fool still alive who's tried to open those gates. He too seems interested in getting out, settling down in Velia. With enough persuasion, I imagine he'd offer his full cooperation. I'll remain here and keep an eye out for Giath if he ever returns. I entrust these ladies in your care. If I ever get a promotion, drinks are on me. I'll remain here and keep an eye out for Giath if he ever returns. I entrust these ladies in your care. Wait! I surrender! I surrender! Ah! Oh! Ah! Elion's balls! Who do you think you are sneaking up on me like that? I'm gonna piss myself! Eh? Hey, come again? You want me to sneak you into the castle? And you'll get me Velian citizenship, is that right? How are you aiming to do that? Getting you alone would be a feat in itself. 
or getting the lot of you in, forget it. Hello there, I I'm Eileen. I beg you reconsider. We really can keep our word. This girl, right here? Her grandfather's the chief of Belia. And rumor has it that you'd like to start a new life in town, so... Oh, so she is. A stone-faced wench herself. <clears throat> you just poured right out of me, that did. Apologies. <laughs> Let me start again. Name's Beetle. I would happily be your guide. I may not look it, but I hail from a long line of guild advisors. The reason we've been stationed here for so long was due to our dealings with some outsiders. Not sure which merchant guild they hail from, but they kept us well equipped and well fed with a steady stream of supplies. If we say we're here to inspect the supplies, they'll let us through. When they shout the passphrase, black or red, reply, silver. Thinking our grizzled adventure here would be a dead giveaway. To play the part of a merchant, best let the ladies handle it. Hold! Move and I'll shoot! Huh? Black or red? What? Uh, uh, Black or red? Um, is it silver? <laughs> Come on! What the hell kind of response is that? Ah, don't mind her, she's new. Sounds like you guys are having a hard day, yeah? Shit like this just makes it harder. Move along. Let's go then. <sighs> Another inspection, eh? Do we really need two a day? Well, it's like we say. Any merchant worth their spice always measures storage thrice. Hold up! I recognize that ugly mug. Beetle! What are you doing showing your face here? Gods! Anyone? <sighs> oh, that was close. I'll hand it to you. You're more capable than you look. Anyway, what's brought you on this gaggle of classy lasses to such a dangerous place as this? We're here to examine the ruins of Kron Castle Spire. No need to be alarmed. Takros told us everything. And yet, even though it is the first time I'm physically here, it's somewhat unnerving. I've seen this place so many times in my nightmares, that it all seems so familiar. Nightmares? Does your ladyship have such horrid dreams too? She must be. Are you the expert who's traveled the world studying specters? Huh? A an expert? <laughs> no. No, not yet, anyway. My sister's the one to call on for that. Why? Are you all struggling with nightmares, too? No, please, you must tell us. Yes, we are. It wasn't as bad as this before, but they've become far more frequent these days. The vengeful souls of this castle torment me in my dreams. Especially those gathered in the well over there. Apparently, one of the kings of old poisoned the well and gathered up all the dead maidens' bodies. Ah, oh, just the thought gives me chills. What? What do you mean you want to go there? Just look, it's practically swarming with soldiers. Is this well really so important? What are you going to do? Set the whole place on fire, then just waltz in for a chat with some goats? Is that the plan? <laughs> oh, that's given me an idea. Here, adventurer, take this. Remembering Hannah. You recognize it, don't you? This is the journal Richie recovered from the Bartali ossuary. The one from the Kron period. Like Beetle said, let's play with fire. Set a tent alight to create chaos among the soldiers. Then burn this book over the well. Igniting the reagent should manifest the spirits. But, oh, such a waste. Such a precious reagent wasted on this. Oh, there go my plans for conjuring a, 
punky specter on a lonely evening. <laughs> oh, that's given me an idea. Here, adventurer, take this. King's descendant has finally deigned to step foot here. The sinful legacy of her forbearers courses in her veins. We cried out incessantly, for how could we remain silent? Yet to have our cries reach only the ears of the loathsome royal line. A cruel fate indeed. For why did we cry? Our children held captive as well, trapped within the spire. Beaten by chilling winds, guarded by the king's mighty light. Do we yet wonder why we still cling to this realm? Would a mother, a father, abandon their own child? That knight was formerly the guard captain of Noir the Third. It is said his martial prowess was only surpassed by his loyalty to his king. A loyalty so boundless that he with the aid of alchemy, abandoned his humanity and became, in all senses, a monster in order to better serve his lord. This sacrifice robbed him of his flesh and, when the deed was done, he was reborn as the frightful Phantom Knight, charged with guarding this place eternally. Somewhere in the castle is the scroll of the alchemist. That scroll should allow you to call forth the Phantom Knight. Each thief smite down the Phantom Knight and set our children free. I wish to feel my children in my arms one last time. <sighs> Who are you talking to? Ghosts? Actual ghosts? Oh, look, I should let you know I'm allergic to paranormal activity. You need to know how to find a scroll belonging to the ancient alchemist. You think I keep a mental log of every text I see? Do I look like a librarian? I believe there was a special task force assigned to guarding important documents. Problem is, this unit headed by Commander Randall is always changing location. No need to worry though, it's not hard to get our hands on the info we need. All we need is a document showing where personnel are stationed. Let's nab it off a rookie over there. Huh? Why am I not fighting alongside you? Are you so heartless, adventurer? Practically yesterday I was breaking bread with these guys. Killing them would feel... crummy. Let's have a look here. Hey, careful! It's a long way down, and I've got a feeling all the king's horses and men aren't interested in putting me back together again. Looks like... Ha! Huh, they're at that spire! We can get there by climbing this ladder. What? This is all that's left of Commander Randall's unit? I'd recommend keeping your guard up. It could still be a trap. No, no. It was only thanks to your heroic distraction that I could get here first. Don't get that out of shape about it. Take a look at this flower pot. Pretty suspicious, eh? Oh, 
brilliant! But from all I can make of this map, there might be something down there. Aha! And next to the door of that box. Do you see it? My doubts about the success of this mission. We should head over there next, up the ladder to our exit. a solitary force serving only Noir the Third. It's folly to think reading off a scroll alone would summon it at your whim. <laughs> <laughs> 